Hey guys, so this is just where I'm just tickled pink here. God has been really good and faithful and we've just, I mean, received so much blessings and just been able to be amazed at what God has done on this farm so far. So this is squash and zucchini that's getting ready to go out to Glade Valley Community Services Food Bank in just an hour or two, okay? And we have already taken some squash and zucchini, about seven or eight pounds of each, to food banks. This is about, I think it's about 15, 20 pounds of each right here, sitting there. And we're about to make this delivery. Now, this is impressive, and it's not impressive on our part, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But this is impressive because last year, right, June 28th, we picked our first squash. So last year at this point, we hadn't even picked a squash yet. June 21st, we picked our first zucchini. So at this point last year, we had two or three zucchini maybe, right? And I say that because of this. Look, well, and to make it even more amazing, right, is that this year we had a, a late deep freeze. It took out all the squash. We had to replant all the squash and zucchini. And from that original planting, I think maybe like 10 plants came up. So we had to still replant, got in late. But look, about well, later, we still get in early. But this is what God has already done at this point for our community around us. And that's amazing. And I'll tell you why. It's not about us. And this is why. Look, I grew up in a townhouse development. Okay? I didn't farm. We had a little garden when I was a kid. And that was about it. I don't know what I'm doing out here, but we learned so much last year, and God really emboldened us to just go big, right? To just to take it to another level this year. We planted a new field. It's where all the squash and zucchini comes from. About an acre of just squash and zucchini planted. And just to get big, go bold, and hope we can keep up and be faithful to Him and, and know that he'll, he'll carry us through. We've already got people wanting to help volunteer, which has been great, so hopefully we'll keep up this year. But look, my wife, she may come from a farm family, but she didn't farm. Her parents weren't farmers. You know, some of her great-grandparents, aunts and uncles. And so none of us are farm kids. None of us knew what we were doing when we moved out here. I think it's a huge testament to the whole, that saying that people say, what is it? I mean, the Bible gives tons of examples. Well, Moses is always a classic example. And, and, and David. But God doesn't call the equipped he equips the call called kind of corny maybe a little bit but it's so true right we didn't know what we were doing god called us and look what he's done i i mean i can't i honestly can't believe it it's kind of crazy and we are uh, you know just trying to stay faithful and you got a call you go after it don't worry if you don't know what you're doing we didn't know what we're doing we still don't know what we're doing we learn and you get bigger and bigger with god's help and just look what he's able to do to the community around us. He's able to put this into the hands of folks that, that you know, maybe don't have the means otherwise or, or just how on, on a rough streak here down in their luck. Whatever it may be, we all maybe have been there at some point or could potentially be there ourselves. And this is what the God of this universe, right? The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, man, this is what God does. He takes care of us. So why do we need to worry about a thing? But he takes care of us in all ways that we need it. And I think this is just uh, a just amazing testimony to the love and greatness of God. And we are so super blessed to be a part of just what God's doing in the world and just being able to live out our faith with him. And I mean, this is insane. I, I can't believe what we've got already in June 20 something. 22nd, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but God is amazing. God is so good. If you don't know Him, if you're on the fence, man, hop over somewhere to a church. Just talk to a pastor. Go to a service. Just get on your knees and pray and something. Because Jesus Christ, man, He died for our sins. Come, taught, walked with us to, 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 to be the sacrificial lamb for us for our sins that we can have everlasting life and we can live a life of abundance and man this look at this abundance and he cares for us and he loves us not just in a sense to give us heavenly life for eternity but in a sense to give us the life of fulfillment of joy in following him in spirit and in truth
So thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And hey, keep praying for us. Keep praying for uh, the, the produce. Keep praying for our community as we continue to watch God just do amazing, amazing things. We'll see y'all.